Hi everyone, in this video I want to show you some of the functions of Bridge as a way to um, be organized and be able to sort your pictures and find things. So I'm going to show you how to rate the pictures, um, put labels on them, and add keywords to them. So here's my um, Bridge screen here, and I'm on my workspace, so we're all set up with my nice big preview and my content over here, and I've got about 10 images in this folder from a shoot that I did fairly recently. And I want to give these some ratings so I can start thinking about which ones I like or don't like. Okay. Um, before I do that, I might want to look at a couple together. So if I hold this, um, this one is highlighted. If I hold down my command or my control on the PC and click on the next one, I can see the two of them side by side and think about do I like the farther away or the closer view. Okay. So I'm going to start giving these some ratings here. You see there's stars underneath here. So um, I can think about what kind of star rating I want to give this one. I think, um, I think I'm going to give this one a four star. Oops. And there we go. And then this one, I can click on that thumbnail and give that a five star. I can scroll through these by sliding this down or just by clicking the arrows here or using the arrows on my keyboard. This one, not so much. This is going to be a three star. It's got a really interesting depth of field, but there's something um, kind of awkward about it. Um, this one is not so great either, so I'm going to give that a three star. And I think I like that one better. I can look at the two of them together. Um, yeah. So let's come on, get out of there. Uh, so let's give that one a five star. This one, and I've got a couple of these, so I want to see what those two look like. So hold down Command again, click on the second one, I can see the two together. Oh, they're super similar, except this has this in here. So I'm going to give this one a five, and I think I'll give this one a three. And then I've got this guy here, which is pretty good too. We'll give that one a four. And we'll give this one a five. And this one I have some hesitation on, so that's going to get a three star. So all of these are now rated. All right, so I've made some decisions already about what I think are better images than others, um, which is a big part of the editing process of once you've taken pictures. So now I could also try and go, okay, I want to see all my five star pictures. So what did I pick as all five stars? All right, so if I go up to edit on my menu bar, can go to find and I've got a option a dialog box popping up here. I don't want to look for keywords. I want to look for rating. So I'm going to go to rating and it's going to equal five stars. And I'm going to go ahead and click find. And so here are the pictures I chose as five star pictures. Okay, so that looks cool. I can see them all together. If I do Command A, that selects them all, and I can see all five of them on my screen there all at once. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do a new search. All right, this time let's look for everything that is um, greater than three stars. So it's gonna be four stars or five stars. I can find all of those. So I've got my four star there and I can see what I have for that. So it's a good way to like be able to search for, look through, and decide what you think are some of the best pictures. Okay. Could also give these rate uh, labels as well. So if you go up to the menu bar, you have label, and you can also give stars this way, of course. And then I can give this and go, oh yeah, okay, I, I approve well, I need to review that one, I think. This one, I could give that a approved or something like that. So those are also options if you want to give your give labels to them as well as rate as well as the star ratings. I usually just go with the star rating. So I'm just going to go back and go no label on this one and click on that guy and give that one a no label also. All right, so that's how you do your rating with the stars and how you do labels. Okay. Next thing I want to do is I want to give these keywords. And again, I want to assign keywords to the images so that they're more easily searchable. 
and, and I, when I'm looking for something in the future, I can find it. Um, at this point, I have thousands and thousands of images. I can't go looking through those thousands of images trying to find all the images that I've taken in New York State or in Connecticut or all the pictures of water or something like that. So over on the right are your keywords and your metadata. So let's click on the keywords tab so that shows. And you can see I've got some keywords put, put in there. Some of the keywords um, were there already. I just haven't taken them out yet. So we're going to add um, a new keyword for this. Um, I have something here, Parks in New York. So I could assign all of these that. So I'm going to do Command A to select all. So they're all selected. I'm going to click on this keyword here, Park New York. These are all in a park in New York State. Okay. And then I'm just going to click on one again. And then I think I will also add a new category keyword. In order to do that, you're going to use your little plus icon down the bottom here and click on that. And I want to add in here that this was in um, this was in Mount Kisco, New York. So I'm going to add Mount Kisco NY there and click. And then that popped up in alphabetical order under the main categories. And notice you have subcategories. Okay. So if I click on that and it turns gray, I can then click and hold and drag that down. And that's going to go to places. So now it went into my places. Um, and I have Mount Kisco, New York. So now I'm going to, again, I think all of these are the same place. So I'm going to highlight or select all of them and then click on Mount Kisco, New York. Okay. And then we'll do one more. And I want to do this one and this one that are about water. Okay. And I'm going to give this a new category. And we'll put in water. And check that. Oops. And did I check it? No. And check water. So then those will show up. Okay. And then let's go back to our main pictures here. And then we could search by keyword. So if I go back to my edit and find, this time we'll look instead of by rating, let's look by keywords. And it's got to contain um, text. So we're going to say water. So let's see what it finds. And it finds the two with water. Okay. Um, so again, really good way to be organized and be able to then find things in the future if you start putting in your keywords now. Think about what kind of keywords would make sense for what kind of images you take, whether it's about location, which is a specific subject matter, or it's about a person. Um, you know, so I've got people in here also so I can find all the pictures of Dorothy or Ben or whomever uh, when I'm looking for stuff. And you can just X out of that. Okay. So um, that's Bridge and some functions of Bridge and how to um, keep organized, make ratings, labels, and keywords.